For as cheap as it was, can't even hate. You cannot even hate. Okay, we're gonna get this vlog started. Yo, someone roll the intro. Holy shit, I hate, I hate my voice. All right, well, um, you know like how people usually say, yeah, I, I, I work for like eight hours today or whatever it is, yeah. Um, it's four in the morning right now and I have been sitting in this chair right here for 12 and a half hours. I cut three different videos and I haven't even started on today's vlog. All right, fam, hold on, Jesus. Going to pick up one of my friends right now. I have to go up to Aptos, which is like 30, 40 minutes away from my place. Beat a snake. Should be interesting. The last time I recorded or vlogged was when I was cutting film last night at four in the morning. It is now the morning for me again. It's like eight at night. Uh, I'm not sure. I, at this point, I'm just uh, kind of going with the flow. I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow at 11. Be awake for that, so I'm trying to figure out the logistics behind that. But anyways, yeah, we're just, we're just along for the ride at this point. Let's get it, boys. We back at the house of Hetty. We're about to feed a snake. I still haven't decided what knife I'm gonna do a review on yet, but fuck it. Kinetic bike trainer, not that effective. Pause the video right now and uh, look at how belligerent the uh, sign is. Yeah, those are the kind of people I deal with. Ooh, slip joint, ew. Amazon knife. So fuck. How do you know it wasn't? It was sarcastic though. Because she fucking hates her, and it's like well known. It's a pinky. That's actually. I don't think that's an embryo. I think that's a legit. Like that's just it how they're born, born, dude. Baby mouth. Women are not. Fucking kill it, dude. So what? I'm giving it going to bag. Well, doggy, come here, doggy. Oh. Fucking, it's in strike position, dude. Oh, you know I don't like snakes. Here, come here. It's in strike position, dude. Look at it. It's in its famous S position. What's that mean? It's doing its famous S coil. They like always make an S coil, but there's a certain one they make that means when they're, they're ready to strike. I have no idea if this is actually vlogging or not, but I'm sorry I haven't put out any content. My camera died, and I haven't been home like at all. So we're gonna get a little mini vlog out today. Um, I think I'm gonna review the tech too. Wish me luck though, because it's gonna be shitty. While this charges, we're gonna use this shitty camera. Anyways, yeah, I haven't been doing much because I've been really, really, really busy with a bunch of other stuff, but I always wanted to be consistent with these vlogs because there's no point in vlogging if you're not consistent with it, so. Today, I have to celebrate my birthday. I have people coming over, so I have to get everything ready. Kiki has to get ready. And so yeah, we have to do a lot of cleaning. I have to go buy stuff, etc. But right now I need coffee. This is what I'm working with. If you didn't know, I'm like hyper addicted to coffee. My homies hooked me up with this cold brew setup. So I'm trying to see like if that'll work. Hopefully I get put in the hospital over that shit. But I think I'm gonna try these out. Like I can't tell if it's focused or not. The way it works is that you literally put hot water in the bag and then it will brew and then you can crack open the side of the bag and pour the coffee out. How the heck? Is this recording? I feel like this camera's too belligerent to vlog on. The brewing is commencing. I have two, roughly two more minutes before I have to get, get it good to go. But right now, we're gonna get ready for... All right, so what we're gonna focus on right now is the knife review. Ah. Taking like two days off vlogging like just completely wrecks you. Where is my tattoo? Momo. This camera low key is amazing for vlogging, but it doesn't have a screen that flips around so it's like It's really hard to vlog on. Today we're gonna be doing the Young Tech Tech 2 review. I've been flipping this thing non-stop since I got it. It's literally one of my favorite knives. I know I say that about like every knife I review, but seriously, like, oh my goodness, this knife is just butter. Do 
250 milliliters of just pure caffeine. It does look a little weak, I won't lie. Not too bad, very even body. A nice actually almost mellow body, nutty flavor. It's good shit. Yeah, I used to work at Starbucks, good at bullshitting coffee terms. <sighs> yeah, that's very nutty. Very, very nutty. There's a nutty aroma to that. Now, low key though, that's like hella good coffee. What the fuck? For as cheap as it was, can't even hate. Today, we're reviewing the Titanium Basilisk R. Oh, wait. No, we're not. There we go. Today, we're reviewing the Tac 2 Bowie. One of the best all round flippers I've ever. Anyways. The reason why this knife is so special to me is because I kind of like... Okay, we're gonna slow down on the flipping. I'm gonna get lower to the ground so I don't destroy every fucking knife I have. I gotta do... I have to do this knife review first. Alright, I got my other camera back. It's like 20% charged. We're gonna go with it though. Definitely no more flipping or minimal flipping in the rest of this review simply because I cannot flip. Here's your tack too. Very good knife. Very good knife. On this knife, I have stock handles. I believe it comes stock with bead blast. The bead blast was sanded off of this one. I'm not a big fan of bead blast anyways. It has titanium barrel spacers, and I am missing one screw there, one screw there, one screw there, one screw there. So I don't have all the screws on here, but it still works. Put party pivots on it. I really, really like it with party, party pivots simply because it looks cooler. Let's get a weight. Come on. 4.62. It's a, it's definitely like a perfect weight. I don't really judge knives on their weight because I flip, you know, the titanium basilisk is way heavier than that. Got an itch. Like a dog. As I said before, I kept this bitch stock. Focus. So let me tell you the background and why I like this knife so much. A long time ago, as in like last month, I had a stock tattoo Bowie. Very, very nice stock tattoo Bowie. It's like perfectly stock. It was literally barely been touched. Like it was like so new. I did everything with that knife. We went to an observatory together. I flipped it when I was at the beach. Then I had the opportunity to sell it along with another knife I had for a package deal and package cash. And I usually tend to take those so I can reinvest that cash into other knives as opposed to just getting another knife. Trading for a knife and then having to trade the knife that I got for a knife that I want. I'd rather just have the cash. So I sold it. I immediately regretted it. I knew I would regret it. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get a modded TAC2 because you know, there's huge mods, rounded handles as opposed to the square handles. So I copped a rounded Matt Cook TAC2 Tonto. Not a Bowie, a Tonto. So some people prefer the Tonto. I prefer the Bowie. Tontos are pretty blade heavy, but I also had different spacers on that knife. It was a very heavy, very robust knife. It took me a lot of energy to get that thing going but once it got going it was really really good my issue with it though was the finish on it and it was like a, a mirror finish almost so sometimes when knives are very 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 smooth it's, it's a good thing because your oil on your hands and you have really really good grip on it but I just didn't like it I would like be flipping it and then it would slip out and it would literally land in like drywall like it would literally stick into a wall because it was a very very sharp knife so tac 2 tontos are nice but per personally I prefer the the Bowie variant for the tac 2 enter this knife uh, one of my friends was selling this knife shout out to Matthew I had to I had to take it and I love this knife I love 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 this knife perfect for flipping. It's very, very light. I don't know, center of gravity is somewhere around there. It's a very neutral knife. There's not a lot of blade bias. There's not a lot of handle bias either. These spacers, if you look right there, that's like nothing, man. There's almost no weight right there. The weight though is concentrated in the squareness of these handles. Personally, I would keep a TAC2 stock if you can. Just really quick side note, I fucking hate Microtech, but fuck you guys. Microtech, I, I hate what they do. TAC3 Customs suck, they're overpriced, and if you wanna change out the hardware, you have to buy their own proprietary tool to do so. I held off getting a TAC2 for the longest time simply because of my hate for them. I was like, you know what, no, fuck Microtech. I'm not gonna fuck with their knives. I'm not, I don't even care if it flips nice. This is the only exception. They did really good on this knife, very good. So that like kind of saved them with me. Um, I still won't fuck with the TAC3. I lost a lot of money when I bought my custom TAC3 was not worth. Very, very good knife. It is tang pin, but that makes sense because it's Microtech. You know, they're not gonna actually like make a flipper that's like a legit flipper. They're gonna have tang pins, so whatever. I don't really know anything about like maintenance on this knife in terms of if my tang pins get messed up, who I hit up. All I know is that on all the forums I'm on, literally on every single forum, people are always making posts asking for bolts, asking for the tool to, you know, replace some of the hardware. The only reason why I went with this knife and was okay with it was because I could use, was because I could use my own 
own wrench or whatever, my own like torque set to tune this knife. I would not have purchased this knife had I um, had to use their own tool on it. The blade steel on this is 154 cm. Not like that actually matters. Uh, you can get going really, really fast with this knife. Um, this particular build has titanium barrel spacers on it, as I've mentioned, but there are other types of spacers you can get for them to give it more uh, of a blade bias. I just think this like is, it's very well balanced. That's why I haven't sought out, you know, swing kits, but I heard that you can buy a swing kit off of Blade HQ, like right now and they're in stock. No, this is like a really good knife, but seriously, if you cop a TAC-2, because they flow around quite a bit. Bowie's not so much, but TAC-2 Tontos are around all the time. If you get one, make sure that you get one unmodded first. Just try it, stock, and then if you want to get a modded one, trade it for a modded one. Do not get yours modded, because there's only a finite number of these. These are discontinued, so if you mod them and you keep modding them pretty soon, the price for a stock TAC-2 is just going to skyrocket. I mean, it already is. People on the forums are bitching about the pricing of TAC-2s lately, and I don't, I don't understand it. It's just supply and demand. I mean, they, they do have a point, though, because some kids are trying to sell their fucking mint tattoos for like $700. It's like, no, 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 no. 600 max, max, 600 max. I saw one go up and was sold almost automatically at 550 but that was like a mint rare variant of the tattoo with a black blade on it. I sold one up around there, but mine again was stock, and it had the bead blast on it, and it was in like near mint condition. And it came with like every spacer you could imagine. That's a good deal, but like, you know, beater tack, Tontos, 400, 500 max. I would not pay over 425 for a tack two Tonto. Bowie, different story. I technically overpaid for this knife, but I'm okay with that because I, one, knew who it came from, so I knew what kind of conditions it had been in prior, and two, I really wanted a fucking tack. I have been carrying this thing almost nonstop since I got it the other day. And it's just, it's just the perfect knife. When it's in my pocket, I barely feel it. It's extremely thin. It's about as thin as like a, I would say it's about as thin as a Chimera. All right, I thought it was just me, but see that right there? I was wondering why I was like dropping the knife a bunch. So there's, that's how I test for my, you know, lubrication and how well my knives are tuned. But if you look at the safe handle, oop, oop, that's why. People ask me what kind of lube I use. I use this stuff mainly because of the logo. Century Solutions, Tough Glide. Blue Lube's really good too though. Get Blue Lube if you can. It's like the number one item sold on Blade HQ apparently. I don't know if I believe that. Now I just need a dab of oil and I'll be fine. All right, my memory card died, so, or my memory card ran out of storage. I was thinking about it though, like when I was putting a new memory card in for the 10 seconds I was doing that, that I really like the responsiveness, responsiveness of this knife. Um, if you look now, I have it lubed. There's that, and then this is the handle that was sticking. Look at that. It's a very responsive knife, in that, that if I'm changing direction with this thing, I can, it'll, it'll snap to it, if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes any sense, but, you know, I can go into an index chaplain, and then go straight into an index rollover, and then come back around, flip it around, go into a behind the eight ball. You know, it's like a very responsive knife. I really like that. I like snappiness to my knives. I like them to snap. Um, I, I, my style of flipping is not very static, or it doesn't change a lot. It's just mainly, you know, focused on rollovers and stuff like that. And so if you like that kind of knife, I think a tack two would really, really do you well. Especially if you like to do like zero G shit, like zero G chaplains to like ring chaplains to, you know, a Murnax ladder. So yeah, let's get a comparison here. There's your comparison. As you can see, it's like basically the same length. Hold on, yeah, there you go. It's like basically, they're, they're basically the same length. Look at that. But this knife is significantly lighter. Um, I'm gonna vlog just random shit and just start throwing it into videos and then um, still continue with my knife stuff because that's the main point of my channel. I wanna share my knowledge with, with you guys about what I've collected over the past year of being in knives and then I also wanna learn from you guys. So please comment, you know, tell me what you think about the, you know, what do you, do you prefer Tonto, do you prefer Bowie? Um, please also make sure to roast me in the comments. Dude, just just take it and put the thing on it. What? Take him out? N yeah. You take him out. I'm not taking him out. Come here, doggy.